Okay, quick Harry Potter spoiler. In case you guys have not seen the movie, make sure you plug your ears here. You don't want to give away the ending. Spoiler, turns out Bruce Willis is dead the whole time and only the little kid can see him. <laughs> All right, coming up next, <laughs> after I warm you guys up a little bit more, uh, coming up next we have um, the inimitable, the usually pretty racist, the always hilarious, the never awkward when he starts singing and or rapping, Nate Mitchell. Woo! Nate Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen.
I'm sorry. I'm five months pregnant. Didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> Fine art. I'm sorry. So I never, I never played sports. Uh, so I never felt the need to go to the gym because I figured, you know, not playing sports, I wasn't really worried about a trophy. But uh, I, now I'm thinking about joining the gym. I mean, I still don't play sports, but now I'm worried about atrophy. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to, you know, wean myself off of fast food. Like, today I was at racetrack and they had a, uh, a, a promo thing up above the gas station, uh, filling station. Uh, just looking for, uh, or just telling you about uh, new breakfast taquitos, which normally I think I would find delicious, but I'm trying to recontextualize that so that it looks like a distended anus that's pushing out a greasy lump of uh, half-digested meat and cheese. <laughs> I'm speaking of distended anuses, tonight is going to be Chris Patton's uh, last set here in Athens for a while, so I had to see him out with kind of like a roast sort of, sort of deal. Really? So. Really? Yeah, really. Hey man, have you earned it? <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, Chris. I've always thought of you as the chopped and screwed version of Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> but, you know, you are a, consi a consistent comedian. I gotta give you that. You're consistently unfunny. <laughs> but you do a lot for Athens. You know, you put on a lot of shows, you promote stuff. I'd say that you really put the dub and dubious when it comes to your music. Uh, actually, you know, I mean, a lot of people do say good stuff about this. I'm, I want to give you the wrong idea. Like, like Barry Buck, uh, personally thank Chris after he decided to do an improvised comedy set at the 40 Watt a little while ago. She said if it weren't for the silence between Chris's jokes, she would have never noticed that the compressor belt on the ice machine was squeaking and needed to be replaced. <laughs> Chris, I know that you'll be successful in whatever you attempt, you know, to choose to do next in life. Mostly due to the fact that I've never met someone so desperately eager to suck on holy cock and enthusiastically support all of society's abomina abominations that I personally detest to the point of privately weeping tears of my own blood. Chris, I'll always remember you as the dub stepping, hacky sacking, bong scraping, bonnaroo attending, open toed sandal, conductor cap face of the vapid mediocrity of UGA. So, that's all I got. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Even by my standards, that was a dick move. <laughs> and when Ed Vermilla tells you that was a dick move, it was a dick move. Hey, by right? my standards. No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I uh, forgot well, to mention the free pizza. I'm oh, sorry. You I forgot to use that was your my here at top. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your next beer. I'm, I'm going to try to make a joke on Nate Mitchell's right. pizza at some point or let him back up and do it. Your next beer on the list is Terrapin Cold.